I want to share a talk with us from uh, Ephesians chapter number one. We are discussing um, Easter, and this uh, word has been coming to me for the past three days, and I've been looking at it. <clears throat> and I want to share it with us uh, at this time. And I bless the Lord because I'm sharing it first of all with our church in, in New York Amen. before we even break the bread for our church in Nigeria. Praise Amen. the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, I discovered something yeah. from that scripture, Ephesians chapter 1. Are we all there? Uh, yes. Okay. And I'm reading from verse 17 that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Amen. That the Amen. eyes of your understanding be enlightened, that you may know that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. 19. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us world who believe according to the working of his mighty power which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him on his own right hand in the heavenly places far above all principalities and power, might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this world but also in the world in the in that which is to come you see, I discovered that the greatest miracle that God has ever done is the raising of Jesus from the, from the dead. dead. Hallelujah. When you look at the creation, the Bible said in the beginning, God created heaven and the earth. And then the earth was without form. And then there was a commotion upon the face of the earth. And God said, let there be light. All those things came by the spoken word. When God was to create trees, he only spoke and the trees came. When God was to create uh, fishes and all other creatures in the sea and in the bushes, he only spoke. But then when you look at all the testimonies from Genesis to the book of Malachi, you discover that there was no one that was described like the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Look at how the Bible describes it. In verse number 19 and verse number 20, it says, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us world who believe according to the working of, of his mighty power. power. Verse 20, it says, which he wrought in Christ whom he raised from the dead. When he raised him from the dead Hallelujah. and set him upon the throne, when God was to raise Jesus from the dead, it was different from the rising of Lazarus. Mm -hmm. Jesus only stood by the by the side of the Lazarus. It was Lazarus came to be by the spoken word. It was different from the raising of Jairus' daughter. Jairus' daughter came to be by the speaking of the word. But for Jesus, God declared all the powers in heaven and in, in heaven and the earth. He mobilized all the power that he had. And he brought the power together to raise him from the dead. Why? Because there was a prophecy ahead that says, this same Jesus, that the grace cannot hold him back. In, uh, in Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, verse 24, he says the grace, the grace cannot hold him back. So what are we dealing with this moment? Uh, we are dealing with the fact that God have to use all the power that he had because the weight upon Jesus was much. Hmm. The weight, one, of sin, the weight of sicknesses and diseases, the weight of death, all rested on Jesus. And so God knew that this one is beyond just to speak. There must be demonstration of the power. And so now, now, this is the good news here. The Bible says, this power has been made available unto, unto us. us. Amen. Amen. You, are not, you, are not, you are not just an ordinary human being. Amen. 
you are not just an ordinary believer. I am so excited to announce to you today that yeah. every power that God has has yeah. been made available unto you. Amen. Amen. By this generation, the Lord wants me and you to tap into it. The Lord wants me and you to, 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 to look unto him and, and, yeah. and receive his power. Amen. It is not for the angels. It is not, it is not for, for, for unbelievers. Amen. It is meant for me and you. Pastor Martin, I said, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us world who believe? Did you believe? Yes. yes. I want you to thank God with me that, that God did not limit this power into to bringing Jesus from the grave only. So he also went ahead to make this power available to us. Amen. As we walk with him, yes. you will we walk in the realm of manifestation of his power. Amen. And Amen. nothing will be able to hold you back to in the presence of the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. That's all. Where he stopped on the issue of power. I want us to go to the last part of Bible, uh, Matthew chapter 28. Matthew chapter 28, verse 16. Note from what our daddy said. He said, God spoke to situations. He spoke to let there be this, let there be that. There were creations through the spoken word of God. God endowed power. It wasn't like when, G when Jesus called Nazareth, come forth. This is a full release of power that rolled the stone that raised Jesus and brought him back to life. And this power has been given unto us according to what he has said lastly. Now, let's read verse 16, Matthew 28, 16. Let's read together to 20. Then the 11 disciples went away into Galilee, into Galilee to the mountain which Jesus had appointed for them. When they saw him, they worshipped him. Some doubted. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Teach them to observe all things that I have committed you. And lo, I am with you always even unto the end. Amen. Amen. You see now, everything that Jesus had, he transferred it. Jesus was not, it wasn't like the leaders of today that they want to die with power. When Jesus was about to trans to ascend to heaven, he released all everything within him. He released it upon his disciples. He said, I have commissioned you. I have given you the authority. Now go with everything I give to you and make disciples of nations and win, and break, and lose, and burn in that authority that God has given unto us. Somebody say amen. 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 amen.